Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we are gonna talk about Gemini Zane. So let's jump into it guys. So in this build we are gonna use mostly the next two Maganoids with a little bit of the splash one for the rocket launchers mainly. And for the action skill we are gonna be using clone and the mental shoulder cannon. So yeah let's go over the weapons guys. So we have the plasma girl, which is an obvious one, it's a freaking good weapon on every build. And next we have the L Walker, same, I love this weapon. We have a bunch of rocket launchers, we have the plaque bearer in all the elements, and also the back burners with all the elements. So next we have the light show in all the elements. This pistol is a freaking beast, on Zane with a good fire rate and whatnot, you're gonna shoot everything. So next we also have a free radical, which is a freaking monster uh, right now it has a crazy damage on his card way bigger than the plasma coil so next we have the crit it's an amazing smg because it's a maxi weapon and next we have a bunch of monarch pretty much all the elements we also have an opq system for the assault rifle so next we have a reflux which is an amazing shotgun it's gonna link the damage in between all the nearby enemies and yeah it's a freaking beast and next we have the coffee on skull so this weapon is here only in order to one tap bosses such as grey world with eraser so yeah and next we have the back banners that i've told you and the other black bearers and finally we have a sandok in all the elements so this weapon is a beast if you give it to your it's gonna shred everything. So we are done with the weapon, so let's move on to the uh, gear. So for the shields, we're gonna be using the Revolter. In most of the situations, uh, we've also a bunch of other breakable shields, like the Nova ones, uh, such as the Frozen Snowshoe, the Frozen Hurt, and the Nova Burner. We've also an Infernal Wish, which is not a Nova one, but yeah, it's a great one, like the Revolter. We also have the Transformer in order to be immune to our own splash damage, like with the Plasma Call, Free Radical, and the two rocket launchers. The Super Soldier, which is a great shield, I don't really use it but yeah it's freaking strong and a bunch of all gold with all the aces for the nades same we have a bunch of hunter stickers with all the aces on them and for the artifact we have a get pass launch pad in order to file ammo an elemental projector victory rush for the mage but you don't need to proc a dot on yourself if you want to get the most out of this one in case you can do that we have a pearl of ineffable knowledge which will work in any situation we also have a tub again which is kinda the snowdrift victory rush that we also have uh, they are both great for slide speed running around and mobbing but the top again is giving you a nice boost of 100% damage uh, for a few seconds and finally for the class mod we have a seeing dead with only 3 points into Donnybrook I do advise you to get one if you can with 5 points into Donnybrook we also have an anti-freeze uh, which is a great one but I don't really like to use it and finally we have a spy which is a great way to uh, use instead of the seeing dead because it's kind of does the same thing in another way by the way uh, as always i will dot the save file on, of this build on my discord so feel free to come join us over there everything is free and you will have access of this save file and all the gears that's on him so yeah so we are done with the gear and the weapon so let's go over the skill tree guys so for the green tree we did not put any points in this one so let's go over the red one so the red one is the most important one on this build since we are using clone and it's the one for clone so we are using clone with the uh which one's real augment and also the double manger so we are down to madcap with double barrel so we did put five points into synchronicity only two into this one since we put one point into duct tape mode we also have put five points into borrowed time it's a great one because we want to sustain octone as long as we need and next we of course have put five points into donnie brook uh, we did grab Quick Breather, Old You, uh, Pocket Full of Grenades, Supersonic Man with 3 points. We've also grabbed uh, Boob and Ants, and yeah, that's kinda it for the red tree. So let's move on to the blue one. So in the blue one, uh, we did put less points than usual. Uh, we are only down to seeing red. Uh, we grab violent speed and violent momentum with 1 point into salvation, and I have choose to put four points into Korean and uh, two points into violent violence so next for the purple tree we are using the mental shoulder cannon with the colder shoulder and also brain drain and we are down to madcap with on man flint 
We are also spectating to Ray Racer, it's a must have. I love to use Fugitive, and we did put 5 points into Man of Focus, 5 points into Headsman's and 5 points into Commitment, which is a must have on this build. Uh, we did put 5 points into Domino Effect, and only 1 into the Art of War, it was in order to move down the tree. So yeah, that's kinda it for the skill tree, guys, I really hope you'll enjoy this one. If you do, then I will really appreciate if you can drop me a like, and uh, if you want to comment something, like maybe what build you want me to cover in the next one, I will really appreciate that. And also don't forget to sub if you want to see more videos like this one, because I'm trying to upload videos every day, and uh, it's always a build or a nice item guide, which is always coming out with a nice save file and whatnot. And yeah, uh, that's it for today guys, so again, thanks for watching me, I really appreciate that, thanks for all your support. And uh, with that said, guys, I really hope to catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye.